I get a ton of clients and sales calls from cold SMS, but every single day I get people commenting on my posts saying that cold SMS is illegal. So today I'm going to show you my deepest, darkest black hat marketing secret that allows me to send cold SMS without going to jail. So in this video, we're going to cover the different ways that you can actually send cold text messages, how to actually find the phone numbers and how to actually send the messages. SMS is by far hands down the most effective direct marketing strategy ever. It doesn't even compare to email or LinkedIn or any other platform. It gets a 98% open rate, a 30% response rate, and for me, it gets about a 5% booking rate. And so if it's so good, then why is it illegal? Because anything that works well and prints money is bound to be exploited, and so scammers get a hold of it and ruin it for hardworking American people. There was a time that I remember I would get like two to three texts per day that were just phishing scams, and they would say, hey, your Amazon package arrived, or the IRS needs you to pay this payment or whatever, you know? And so because there's so many texts going out, and the reason the only reason that people are sending these texts is because they're making money off of those texts and so the government sees this and then they have to put some rules and regulations around it now here's the thing the government cares about big companies or scammers that are preying on millions of people and exploiting them right they don't really care about you trying to send out a couple texts to people trying to get them as your first client, you know? So the likelihood of you getting sued is very, very slim. Now, this is not legal advice. I am not a lawyer. This is just for educational purposes only. Take everything I say with a grain of salt. Everything I say could be completely wrong. But if you're a massive government, are you gonna look at the one guy that's sending out a couple texts here and there just trying to get clients for himself that's actually doing honest business work? Or are you going to go after the scammers that are sending out millions of texts to people and hacking their Amazon accounts, you know? And the only real case I've heard of someone actually getting sued is Papa John's because they sent out millions of texts to people on a Friday night saying, hey, do you want some pizza? All these people were not opted in and that was B2C and so it's a lot more regulated when it's business to consumer. But how do we make this safe so that hopefully we don't get sued for sending out cold texts, but we can still enjoy the power that comes with doing cold SMS. I have a lot of strategies that I use in my course on how to set up and automate these strategies to get a ton of sales calls, uh, but you can check out my free course in the description below. So there are several messaging platforms that use your phone number as some sort of account ID like iMessage or WhatsApp. So WhatsApp is run by Meta or Facebook. And so if you send a text message from WhatsApp, you're not technically falling into the SMS laws, right? Because you're sending over the internet through Meta's API, and so therefore it's not technically SMS. And so what's great about it also is that if you scrape phone numbers, the phone numbers that you're gonna use are gonna be the same phone numbers on WhatsApp. You're not getting a different phone number when you're using WhatsApp. And so you can scrape people's mobile phone numbers, upload them to WhatsApp, text from there, and a lot of people use WhatsApp every single day, just like it's a normal texting platform. And so you can get a ton of booked calls from WhatsApp. Now this works a little better outside the US, not in the US, because not as many people have WhatsApp in the US. I think 70 million people in the US have it. But outside the US, everyone uses WhatsApp other than China. And I believe you can do the same thing for Telegram. Like you can use the phone number and upload the phone number and you can find that contact person uh, on Telegram. But there's not a lot of people, there's even less people on Telegram. So the other option you have is by using iMessage. And if you have an iPhone, this works perfectly. So you can scrape the same phone numbers. And if you have an iPhone and you're sending to another iPhone, it'll send through iMessage. And it works the same way as WhatsApp, where it's not actually using SMS technology, it's sending through Apple's API. And so it's sending the message through the internet. So it's not actually SMS. And what's great about iMessage is that if you send a message to someone else, it's a blue bubble. And if you have a blue bubble, it looks a lot more personal, a lot more human. And that's the whole goal with SMS is to look as human as humanly possible because the more human you look, the more likely they are to respond to you. So how do we actually get phone numbers of people that we're trying to reach out to? I made two videos. One is how to actually scrape the leads and the other one is the tools that I like to use to scrape leads. But basically, if you're targeting local USA business, I like to use a tool called Ninja Leads. Uh, it shows you exactly who has a mobile number and who has a landline so you can filter them out. And so you can scrape dentists throughout the United States get a whole bunch of phone numbers and then sort it out to only the mobile numbers and then send text to those people. If you're targeting more professional businesses, I like to scrape from LinkedIn. Now you can just target whoever you want on LinkedIn, which is great. So you can do CEO, owner, founder of whatever industry you're looking for and then scrape that. I like to use a tool called Use Artemis. There's also another tool called Lead Rocks that I use pretty frequently to scrape from LinkedIn. And you can scrape from almost any country on LinkedIn, which is great. But I noticed that for phone number data, usually if you're scraping outside the US, just the phone number data is less. So you're not going to get as many phone numbers if you're scraping in the UK or in Australia. And so if you're trying to target companies outside the US, I would try to, there's a tons of different tools, but D7 Lead Finder, I do not really recommend it. I don't really like it just because you get really bad data from D7 Lead Finder. But if you're targeting outside the US, it's kind of your only option. And so if you're targeting local businesses, let's just say in C 
Sydney, Australia, and you can't get a lot of phone numbers from LinkedIn, then you can do it from a D7 Lead Finder and just scrape from there. And then what you can also do, if you're scraping from LinkedIn, you're scraping from D7 Lead Finder, it doesn't tell you which ones are mobile numbers or which ones are landlines. And so you can use a web app called clearoutphone.io that allows you to verify the phone numbers and see which ones are mobile and landlines. And then you can sort out all the ones that are mobile numbers and then send texts to those people. So now that we have our lead lists, let's try WhatsApp outreach. For WhatsApp, you don't wanna do this from a brand new account just because you're more likely to get banned if you do it from the brand new account. So just try to use your aged account. But if you need to do a brand new account, you need to try to warm it up for a few days. So you create the account, let it sit for a couple days, text yourself back and forth, text a couple of friends back and forth from this account, and then leave it sitting and like texting other people for like a week or two. And so then you can start sending out text out cold. Also make sure to add your photo, make it look human and real, right? You don't want to add some fake photo of some random person. And then also add a, your name in there. You can, I mean, you, I guess you could add a fake person. So <laughs> you could do like a girl name, but then if you're using your personal <laughs> account and then you're just a girl and people are going to get really confused. But anyways, add a photo, add your name so it looks as human as possible. And now you can just start messaging people. I created a whole video on how to craft your cold outreach message in my free course in the description below. And there's also a way you can automate these messages so you don't have to send them one by one, which is also in my course. And just some basic rules around SMS. You always want to ask yes or no questions. Make it super easy for the prospect to say yes don't make like don't make them have to do any work make it super uh, simple for them because the more work they have to do the more thinking they have to do the less they're actually going to respond the less they're going to buy from you so if you said something like hey what time are you free tomorrow you're going to get less responses than if you just said hey are you free to chat tomorrow at 10 a.m you know also try not to send any links unless they specifically ask for a website don't send any links because every anytime you send a link they're going to automatically assume you're scamming them i don't even send any booking links i just say hey are you free to chat tomorrow at 10 a.m they say yes i say what's well, a good email to send an invite to you know just very simple questions now for iMessage, you need an iPhone for this to work or a Mac. I think I'm pretty sure you're able to do it from a Mac and not have an iPhone if you just have the Mac. Uh, but either way, you're going to have one or the other. The same rules apply for how you're going to send text to people. And if you want to automate it, there's a few apps that you can use. There's one that I like to use called uh, Reach or there's another one called Send Hype. There's also a few other ways that you can do SMS cold without having to worry about any of the laws or anything like sending email to SMS or using someone else's API to send out texts. But I don't go too much in depth into that. Now, if you want to learn these strategies in depth and you want my help to set up a system that can get you 120 sales calls per month on autopilot using a whole bunch of automations, you can book a call with me below. I'll talk to you guys soon.